Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and it is day six here on Planet 26. And so, last episode, we were on a bit of an excursion. Uh, we ended up looking, f we were, well, we were looking to try to find the silicon and the uh, nickel fields. And we really didn't have much luck on that, but we did find silver and we found uranium, which that's a pretty good trade-off. And so what I think I'm going to do, I didn't want to have to uh, mine gravel, <clears throat> but I, what I'm going to do is put a, uh, a gravel mine in, uh, set up a resource node that will <clears throat> allow me to uh, mine gravel, <clears throat> and I'm going to set up a... Uh, uh, gravel sifter that will purify the uh, excess gravel down to uh, uh, other minerals or other ores. Uh, some of it very, very minute amounts, but yet it'll still give me some, some ores. And But it'll also give me the silicon and the nickel that I will need. Because we've got iron coming in from that pipeline there. So uh, I was thinking about putting putting it in over here a little towards those mountains just so that uh, we're not having to listen to that excessive pounding from the resource node. So what I think I'm going to do right now is uh, get the uh, mobile rover, the mobile factory moved over. And we're going to move it over to the other side over there. Okay. All right. That way we can uh, have everything that we need to build. And what I want to do is probably somewhere about right in here is where I'm going to put uh, the power grid. So if we kind of look around here, I think uh, I think somewhere in here we want to go ahead and start setting up the power grid because our base is going to be off over to our left hand side there. So let me get out of here and uh, we can kind of look at this. So the base is going to ultimately be built uh, out over in that area over there. And if I put the power grid in somewhere in here, uh, so that uh, that will connect in. So what I'm going to have to do is probably run a, a line of uh, blocks out so I can keep everything on the same node. Uh, so let me see. I have some steel. Let me uh, let me grab some more steel. That way, that'll allow us to uh, lay some blocks out. All right. Let's go st steel. couple of hundred of those. It should start producing some more, I think. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. All right. So that gives us some blocks to work with. And uh, what we'll do is we'll get over here. I think we'll start setting up the power grid right in here, which for now is going to be a series of uh, wind turbines. So 
Uh, that's what I wanted to get done today, was uh, get uh, a good power grid set up. And uh, that uh, wind turbines, that'll be wind turbines, batteries, and probably a solar panel. And with the ability to expand on to nuclear reactors, since we do have uranium. So, I tell you what, what I'm going to do is start laying blocks out here. And then uh, kind of get the framework set up for the wind turbines. And I will uh, catch back up with you here in a little bit. All right, well, I'm starting to get the uh, wind turbines up. I'm going to start putting in uh, the, the turbines right here. Uh, so ultimately, it means I'll be able to take that one down that's over there running that uh, uh, storage container over there uh, that has the uh, uh, sorter on it. And uh, this is going to become my main power source out in here. I'm going to have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six uh, wind turbine towers is what we're going to start with. And then uh, what we're going to do is set up batteries at the base of each of them. Or we'll set up a battery room out here. And uh, that way it can be storing power and we'll be able to continue to have that grow. So let's see if we can get this up here. Uh, you're not going to let me do that, are you? Alright, let's do this. Maybe you'll let me do it this way. There we go. And I brought enough materials to build two. Alright, that one's online. Now I wanted to build... Yeah, actually, let's see if we can do it this way. All of this scaffolding is going to come down. And the idea is that... Actually, I think i got to build out this way. Alright, let's see if we can get the second one on. Perfect. Alright. So we've got those turbines going. And I want to put another one on this other side. So I'm probably going to have to... So we're going to take this stuff out. We don't need it anymore. Make sure I don't cut it out from underneath me. And we'll take you out. I think I should be able to, but I'm not sure. gonna have to do is go one more out this way. We'll do it like this. There we go. I think we can then uh, take this stuff out. And you can come out. I should be able to take you out. You. Now I don't have, but yeah, that I'll be able to put that in right there. All right, I need to go get more parts. Let's go do that real quick. And we'll have our first wind turbine tower up. And 
that should have made enough uh, six motors. There we go. All right. Gotta automate that door. in and I think I need to take this out there we go now we can get over to here there we go and we've got our three wind turbines in so let's take this stuff down I just gotta make sure I don't uh, Cut my tower down. Okay. Once I get this tower all uh, tore down and I get started on the next uh, next one, I'll uh, catch back up with you all. Okay, I have uh, made some progress here. Uh, so let me kind of tell you what I've got going. So there's my uh, wind turbine tower and I'm going to have... Uh, what I'm going to do is make a battery room right here, which will give me, I'm planning on putting, uh, let's see, probably about uh, six or eight batteries. Actually, it's going to run over through to this side as well. So this will be an entrance. So I'll have a doorway coming in through here. Uh, this will be a battery room right here. Uh, it'll be built out and then another doorway coming out through here, which will take me down to uh, our uh, last row of turbines. So I'm going to have another uh, turbine set up right here, just like that. And then I'll have another one right here, uh, basically at the end of each, each point. And then uh, there will be a, uh, I don't know if I'll have one coming up out of the roof or not. Uh, I may, I may, uh, I may want to have one coming up out of here, uh, which will be, uh, which will, I think will make it look, look pretty good. We'll see how that it looks when it gets to there. Uh, but let's go ahead and lay these out. Two, three, four, five, six, of course, seven, eight, nine. Now we'll see how that does. See if that just leaves some aviance there with that kind of built around there. Uh, so one of the things, actually, one of the things I do need to do before I forget is, let's see if I can build that out. Yep, there we go. Need to get the floors, need to get the floor done, which is going to take more steel. Okay. Well, you can kind of get the feel for what, what I'm going to do here. So this battery room will be set up. Uh, this battery is a modded battery. Uh, it's uh, a uh, the TBH batteries. You can check it out in my uh, mods uh, Wednesdays. Uh, they're kind of cool looking batteries. It's just something different than the square block, uh, which kind of makes it kind of nice. 
Plus, there is a much larger battery, which consumes a ton of uh, resources to build. But, uh, again, if you only build the one battery as opposed to ten batteries, uh, you're probably using about the same amount of resources anyway. Alright, well, let me get uh, further along here. Uh, I want to try to get uh, uh, some more batteries put in, and I want to try to get the uh, wind turbines all put up today if I can. And I wanted to try to get all the way to having the uh, gravel sifter mine in, and we'll see how that goes. So I'll uh, catch back up with you here in just a little bit. All right, well, as you can see, I have uh, kind of been working away. I've shifted shifted a little bit here on how my design is going to be. I'm trying to utilize some of the new Automaton's uh, blocks that we got. So this is some of the new pipes uh, that I put in. So just kind of uh, appearance that we are bringing power in from the turbines down, you know. Uh, they're not just connected to blocks going up. So they'll have power lines or, you know, these pipes coming down into the ground. You know, you can't really see it, but they'll be connected up to a set of pipes that uh, are running over to the main battery room. And with it, with that coming in, now uh, I'm going to have a wall. This will be a wall here. I'm going to have catwalks coming across through here, so that will give the appearance that uh, we're not walking right on the pipes themselves, but we'll be walking on the catwalks. I also I'm going to have to come up here to see a little better. Uh, trying to, I guess, give it a little more realism, uh, make it look a little bit uh, more like a, a power supply. So I've got uh, uh, power lines running from here down into those pipes or power lines. Energy low. One can call it that, uh, going down to the battery room. So in essence, it looks like we're drawing. Uh, power coming in and I w am probably going to uh, well I'm going to run another set of pipes coming down to the ground uh, just to kind of give it that appearance uh, so that's where we're at right now uh, I've got this scaffolding in I'm probably going to leave some of this scaffolding up when it's all said and done uh, just so it, you have appearance of being able to get up and do maintenance uh, one of the things that uh, is a potential with these is these things getting zapped with uh, lightning. So I'm going to need a way to, to get up above to be able to repair these turbines if they get hit by lightning. So just, that's where we're at right now, still working away. I did get zapped by lightning while I was working away. Uh, took my health down to 25. I got uh, recharged up. Uh, didn't kill me. So nothing's killed me yet. It's come close though. So there are perils here on this planet. Yeah, let's get charged up. There we go. All right. So you can kind of get a better look at it. So that's that's kind of my thinking. Uh, I'm going to continue to work on this. And so when I get a little farther along, uh, I don't know if I'm going to get my power room all done today or not. It doesn't look like it. So uh, let me kind of keep working away here. I'll give you another update and we'll see how far along we've got and see how it looks. Be back in a bit. Well, I haven't gotten too much further than what I had uh, 
planned on, I ran into a bit of a snag. All right, so I was going to put piping underneath the batteries to give them that, that look. But what I found when I went to... Uh, so I had attached this battery to other blocks all the way around there. And I put piping underneath it. Well, what I found was that it was not connected to the grid. When I went to, to look at the power consumption over here, it didn't have any input and it didn't have any output. Uh, so uh, I uh, put a, a steel block back underneath it. And as you can see, I now have uh, input and output on the current power. So, uh, at, so that kind of put a damper on what I was going to do. Now I haven't built these out. I was just putting them in as placements. And what I want to do is have six batteries on each side. So I think I'm going to have to go with steel blocks. And I'm not going to lose anything here. I can grind these out. And then go ahead and, and put... Inventory full. Oh, of course it's full. Uh, let me uh, build a couple more of these. Make some inventory space. And then uh, let's do this. Let's put a block in there and build it. And then maybe we can take this one out. And then put a block in here. So, and then I will place three batteries. Let's go ahead and I should have the materials. What do you mean? I'm out of steel plates. Oh, I, I guess I am. Here, let me go grab some steel plates. We can get those batteries at least as a placeholder in here. And, uh... Commander Butts, you're just in the way here. Just, I'm almost done, so give me a few more minutes here. Let me grab some steel plates. A hundred of these. Uh... And we will get uh, this uh, in place. What I can do is have pipes running down the center here. And that will give the illusion of uh, electricity running to them. So if we do this, let me uh, finish that. We'll put you in place here. And then we'll go six there and oh wait a minute. Let's keep these the same. Okay. Let's go six there and there. You're getting off close there, transport courier. I just assume you not get that close. Okay. And what that also means is then let's do this. I should turn we'll turn that that away. These are going to have catwalks over the top of them. So, 
And then well, let's do this. Take these three out. And let's put steel blocks in here. And let's see if I got enough steel to build these. Of course not. And I'm going to need more steel for the batteries. Alright. Let me run over and get that last little bit of steel. And we sh We'll be pretty close to what I'm going to get accomplished today, so... Alright. Uh, I think that should be enough. We're not going to build the batteries. We're just going to place, put them in place. All right, you're finished. All right, and then, and then there will be six. There. There and there. And then there'll be piping coming in from this direction from over here. So I guess these, we will have to take these out. And then uh, leave the piping in here. And just like I did over here, I'll run piping from here down to here, and then that'll come in uh, to there like that. It's just unfortunate. Unless I move this back one and make the building one block. I might do that. Put the blocks in here. So if we do this, put that in there like that. Oh no, no. Uh, let's take that one out. I want to make these. Uh, make that turn that back to gray. And let's go five. We'll put the wall in here like this. And then we can take. Build these out. All right, so we can grind you out. And then we can put these that uh, we want those in red. that in along here. We're not going to get these finished. I'm just going to give you an idea of what I'm trying to do here. Commander Butts, you want all the attention, don't you? I'm almost done here. I just need you to let me leave me alone for just a little bit more. Sorry, sorry about that, gang. All right, and then we can take this one out. Inventory full. Uh, let's do it like this. We can build you. Right. 
you out. And then uh, put... Uh, this is going to be a gray block. Do that, and let's build this out. All right. We then have... So I'll take... I will take uh, this block out. And then... And then turn the piping in this way. And then the piping will come across over to here. And then that will be connected. And then this will be a wall. All right. Well, I think that's about going to do it for today. We will uh, pick it up right here in the next episode. Uh, and uh, hopefully we can get our power supply uh, completely done. Or at least close to being completely done. Which means I want to get the uh, wind turbines up and get all the batteries put in. And then what we'll do after that is... Uh, get our gravel... Uh, processing going. All right. Well, guys, if you like this video, please hit the uh, thumbs up on it. It really helps the video out a lot. There's just a lot of enemy ships flying around, isn't there? Uh, and uh, please subscribe. That really helps the channel out a lot. And uh, so with that, all you space engineers out there, keep building away, keep your heads low, and don't get shot. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.